Hey Geminis, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for the week of the super moon, the full moon. Let's see what's going on with Geminis. What are you guys releasing and what are you bringing in? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. I'm starting off with the Tarot of Dreams. So what is Gemini releasing for this full moon here? We've got nine of wands. Okay. <clears throat> and we've got page of cups. I feel like you guys are releasing some um, barrier when it comes to opening your heart. So you could have been really guarded lately. Maybe you guys are finally ready to open your heart to me. You know, you might feel like maybe there's no one even to open your heart to, but maybe before that person comes forward, there's a blockage that you need to remove that I feel like you guys are removing. I also feel like you're forgiving somebody who has maybe hurt you. You're just like letting your guard down. You're becoming more soft around your heart. This is Pisces energy. Could be Cancer or Scorpio, but I see this as more of like your heart opening, especially with the Nine of Wands, okay? So what are you guys bringing in, Gemini? <clears throat> you know what? This is actually like a card that I don't... Um, I'm not going to use, okay, because it's not like a traditional tarot and I just don't want to use it. This is interesting because I just got this with Pisces and you got a Pisces in your deck. So you guys could definitely be dealing with the Pisces, but we've got five of Pentacles, which is what the Pisces was bringing in too. Let's see. And then we've got um, six of Wands. I feel you guys are overcoming abandonment wounds here, okay? So that's what this heart opening is about is that... You're letting go of past hurt, past rejection, past pain, and you're allowing yourself to love again. Oh, I just heard that Share song. I'm already channeling so many songs for you guys. Um, I will love again, even if it takes a lifetime to get over you. Wait, is that Cher? I will love again. I think so. Yeah. Okay. So let's get some other energies, guys, for Gemini. What else is going on with you guys? I want to say Pisces because break free, take control, and get out now. So maybe you've been letting this pain, this doubt, this insecurity kind of lead your life. And maybe some of you are watching this and you're thinking, that's not me. I don't have any. But there's something, some barrier to you really having that emotional connection and fulfillment so what is it that's standing in your way because if it's not abandonment if it's not her if it's not let's see what other themes we've got going on here toxic know when to walk away okay so is it some sort of codependency that keeps you stuck in dynamics that are not healthy we've got ripple effect and this could also be alcohol uh, substances break free you could be breaking free from addiction or breaking free from someone who has addiction it started with a simple hello that led to a smile. That smile led to a kiss. That kiss led me straight to your heart. And the rest is history. So I feel there's also kind of like a ripple effect of like things that have happened that have led you down this road. Then we have blind. You can't unlock the possibilities unless you see the unlock the possibilities unless you see the possibilities. I feel you guys have been, you turned a blind eye to something and it ended up like almost kind of biting you in your ass. And I feel like in a way, maybe you guys don't even forgive yourself because you let things happen that were like toxic that you didn't see. But I feel like your eyes are opening up. I want to get one more here, Gemini. There's one final energy here. Ooh, drool. I can barely contain my desire for you when you're within my reach. You're my ultimate craving. And I can't imagine letting another second go by without tasting you. There's, it could have also been that this person and you had a really strong sexual connection, a desire, but it's almost like that attraction led you to this place where you had to learn a lot of really hard lessons. I feel like you guys are sort of at a fork in the road, to be honest. Let's see what this person wants to communicate to Gemini. This is from Mystic Moons, Twin Flame Messages, Volume 1. What is your person want to say to you Gemini you inspire me okay it could even be that you're like the person that like makes them want to be better you're like the light in their life okay your intensity frightens me and allures me at the same time well we had drool so it could even be a new person too coming in that you're gonna have this like very strong intense connection with once you open your heart maybe you already know who that person is maybe there's like a push and pull energy and that's why you close your heart you open it 
all that jazz. I'm a better person because of you. We have you inspire me, and I'm a better person because of you. So you definitely have a strong connection in your life, Gemini, whether it's there, whether it's coming in. Make sure you make healthy choices. Make sure you don't hold yourself back. Make sure you do things that are in your best interest. And make sure you know that you are inspiring someone else and that they're really thinking highly of you. All right, Gemini, that's your reading. I hope it resonated. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.